Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 46 Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. And today we're going to cover the QFind algorithm. Um, QFind allows you to find things within a container. So let's just make a QList. And we're going to give it some ints, just keep things simple. We'll call it list. And we're going to fill our list, and we'll just say 1, 5, 15, and let's say 23. Now what we want to do is we want to search that list and find a specific number. Now I know you're thinking, well, I can just do a for loop and figure out which one it is, but there's a better and a faster way, and it's called QFind. But to do QFind, we've got to deal with the const iterator, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So say QList, int, and then you say const iterator, and we'll just name it iter. And then we're going to assign the value, which is actually going to be QFind. And we want to say the range, which is list.begin, to list.end. Whoops, hope I spelled end correctly. And then the number we're looking for, and I think we said we were going to look for 15. Now, what that'll do is that'll search, and if it doesn't find it, it's going to equal the end. And I'll show you what I mean here. If either and we'll say not equals list.end. I made a boo-boo here, bear with me. There we go. So if it doesn't equal list.end, or the end of the list, which is right here after the 23, then we found a value. So we'll say Q debug. And let's just say found and we want to actually print the value out so we will say iter because remember this is a pointer and we'll say else q debug and we're just gonna say not found compile and run and we found 15 because there's 15 in our list and just to prove that this works, let's actually just throw a number in here we know it doesn't exist. 99. Let's compile and run. And not found. So that's how QFind works. Now I know you might be thinking that um, this is kind of a complex way of doing things, especially if you're coming from, say, uh, Visual Basic or C Sharp, where you're used to just, you know, going through an entire list looking for something. Um, it may seem more complex, but it's actually more elegant and it's much less error prone and albeit much faster so I implore you to use it. Um, this is Brian I hope you found this video educational and entertaining and thank you for watching